The lender holds the collateral until the loan is repaid. Bank also accepts third party collateral. That means if someone outside of your family is willing to pledge their asset as the security against your loan, the bank will accept that. In simple words, unsecured loans do not require collateral. A student can get up to 80 lakhs for postgrad courses and 30 lakhs for undergrad courses. Picture this, you have been accepted into your dream university abroad and the only thing standing between you and your dreams is the high cost of education. Well, this is where education loan come in to save the day. Hi friends, this is Aman Jain from Yamdu and in this video, we will discuss different types of abroad education loans. Watch the video till the end because I have some fantastic news for you which will make your abroad education loan journey easy and hassle free. Abroad education loan I provided by both banks and NBFCs. Further, loans can broadly be classified into two types, secure and unsecured. Wait, before we move further, click on the subscribe button below and never miss a video. So let's start. Let us first understand secured education loans. Secured loans, as the name suggests, are the loans backed by security, known as collateral. It refers to an asset that a borrower pledges to a lender as a form of guarantee. The lender holds the collateral until the loan is repaid. Collateral provides the lender with a sense of security and reduces the risk associated with lending large sum of money. Generally, Banks accept immovable property such as house, flats, or liquid assets such as fixed deposits as a collateral. Bank also accept third party collateral. That means if someone outside of your family is willing to pledge their asset as the security against your loan, the bank will accept that. But remember, the value of collateral should be equal to or more than the required loan amount. For example, if you are looking for an education loan, amounting to 20 lakhs, then the value of your collateral should be equal to or more than 20 lakhs. One of the major benefits of taking a secured education loan is that they come with a lower interest rate. If you want a bigger loan amount, secured loans are good. Banks generally provide up to 1.5 crore for a broad education loan. They give you more than what you might need. Moreover, you can disburse a lower amount than what the bank has sanctioned to you and only pay interest on the amount that has been disbursed to you by the bank. But if you are going for a secured education loan, you should have considerable time in hand as these loans take longer time to get sanctioned. Also, you should have all your collateral based documents in line because banks are very particular about them. Now that you have an idea of what secured loans are, let's briefly understand the meaning of unsecured loans as well. In simple words, Unsecured loans do not require collateral. Instead, lenders check the student academic profiles and require a co-applicant that agrees to repay the loan if the student fails to. The co-applicant has to summon from the student's immediate family member with a steady income and decent sibling score. Because these loans carry more risk for lenders as there is no collateral involved, the interest rate tend to be on the higher side. For these loans, lender analyzes the student's academic profile. Also, banks sanction such loans for selected courses with high probability chances in future to reassure repayment. Private banks such as ICICI, Axis Bank have pre-approved list of colleges and courses for which they provide you unsecured loans. Generally, banks and NBFCs are considered for unsecured loans. A student can get up to 80 lakhs for postgrad courses and 30 lakhs for undergrad courses. However, during the moratorium period, students are required to pay simple or partial simple interest. One of the biggest advantage of unsecured loan is that they take less processing time and generally get sanctioned if in five to seven days. Now comes the big question. Which type of loan should you go for? Well, it depends on your individual situation. If you or your family can provide collateral, then secure loans are the best loan options for you as they offer lower interest rates and a higher loan amount. On the other hand, if collateral isn't an option and you have a strong academic profile and a co-applicant who fulfills bank's eligibility criteria, then unsecured loans are your way to go. Now comes the fantastic news. Thinking about how to choose the right education loan without even stepping out of the house. Well, 
डोंट वरी एस ज्ञान इज हियर एट योर रिस्क विद फोकस ऑन यूनिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर ईच स्टूडेंट्स परसुइंग हायर एजुकेशन अब ब्रॉड we offer customized education loan products we can help you decide the type of loan you should go for and the best education loan lender that suits your needs our expert education loan counselor will analyze your profile and initiate the loan procedure with couple of lenders in one single go so that you have multiple options available and yes you don't have to worry about visiting different banks physically for submitting the documents because gyanan has got you covered our team will either arrange a doorstep pickup or you will receive a customized document checklist that you have to upload on our website from selecting the best lender to the actual disbursement gyanan will be by your side throughout your journey and if there are some hiccups on the way we will directly coordinate with the bank and resolve them at the earliest thinking about how to start right away just click on the link mentioned in the description and check your loan eligibility our team will take it forward from there well that's a wrap for today if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content and as always if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below until next time stay informed and make wise decisions Happy studying and take care